Oh, all better. How how striking was the how striking was this miraculous premonition? It commenced with a shaking to call and fixed fix the attention of these Jewish priests. This was heard as wait, this was heard then was heard an indistinct murmur this would make them listen with all possible heed then they heard the distinct voices as of a multitude in great earnestness and haste I Let us depart hence. And their last fatal war with the Romans commenced before the next season from the celebrating of this feast. Of, of this feast. Four. Wow. Another sign was the following. The same author says a meteor resembling a sword hung over Jerusalem during one whole year. We have been much nearer than a, com than a comet and appeared to be appropriated to that city. This reminds one of the sword of the destroying angel stretched out over Jerusalem. You know, one uh, chronicles Roman numerals. Uh, this stationary position of the sword for a year was a lively indication that the impending ruin was fatal. Five. Josephus says, as the high priests were leading a heifer to the altar, to be sacrificed, she brought forth a lamb. Wow. In the midst of the temple. Most striking rebuke to those infidel priests who had rejected the lamb of God. Who had shed his blood once for all and abrogated the Levitical sacrifices, which yet they were impiously continuing? This wonder was exhibited in the temple, the type of the body of Christ. And at the Passover, when at a preceding Passover, Jesus was arrested and sacrificed. And it took place before the high priests and their attendants, so that they could never complain for want of Evidence of that fact. Oh. Six. 
1996. This author says, Soon after the feast of the Passover in various parts of the country, before the setting of the sun, chariots and arm, armed men were seen in the air passing round about Jerusalem. This strange sight occurred before sunset, and being seen in various parts of the country must have been a miraculous portent, a sign from heaven. The Jews had said, What sign showest thou that we may see and believe? Now they had their signs in abundance, yet they would not believe. 7. The last and most fearful sign, Josephus relates, that one Jesus, son of Ananias, a rustic of the lower class, appeared in the temple at the Feast of Tabernacles, and suddenly exclaimed, A voice from the east, a voice from the west, a voiced, voice from the four winds, a voice against Jerusalem and the temple, a voice against the bridegrooms and the brides, a voice against the whole people. These words he continued to exclaim through the streets of Jerusalem by day and by night with no cessation unless what was needed for the support of nature for seven years. He commenced in the year 63, while the city was in peace and prosperity, and terminated his exclamations only in his death amidst the horrors of the siege in the year 70. This strange thing, when it commenced, soon excited great attention, and this Jesus was brought before Alimbus, wait, Albinus, the Roman governor, who interrogated him, but could obtain no answer except the continuation of his woes. He commanded him to be scourged, but to no effect. During times of festivals, this city of his was peculiarly fond, but peculiarly loud and urgent. After the commencement of the siege, he ascended the walls, and in a voice still more tremendous than ever, he exclaimed, Woe! Woe! to this city, this temple, and this people. And he then added, for the first time, for the seven years, woe, woe to myself. The words which no sooner uttered 
then a stone from a Roman machine without the walls struck him dead on the spot. And take a little break right there with the at the bottom of page 10. And anyhow, taking this nice and easy. It is a bedtime story. Uh, 